What's up guys, it's Fatern, and I know it's been a while since you've seen me put up a video. My Xbox One is downstairs, my PS4 doesn't do HDMI, and then it's I've been moving, I have this hat on. Uh, I would pick you up and show you, but you can see I'm in a different room. I have a TV over here, I have a monitor here, and a monitor here. I'm trying to see where else I'm looking at. Right now my PS4 is like laying down. Let's see if we can show. Oh my god, you're going for a ride! Woo! Yeah, there's a PS4, it's a little bit dusty and stuff. And there's some clothes on the floor back there, but uh, that's that for right now. But what we're going to do today is talk about these two controllers. That was horrible. It was awful. The new controllers, we have the uh, PS4 controller and the Xbox One controller. And I'm going to go over my pros and cons for both, give you guys a review, shout-outs, and uh, I don't know, my recommendations and whatnot. So we're going to start off with the reigning champion, the Xbox controller. The 360 controller is better than the PS3 controller. Uh, the new stuff, it's gonna, I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of it. The joysticks, they stick out a little bit more. They come out, they seem like they're a little bit taller and they're a little bit skinnier. I don't know, I, I'm not sure. Like, watch out, there's a cat running around going nuts. Uh, but basically the joysticks, my fingers, they don't like slip off it a lot, but I just don't like the feel of them too much. Um, the response triggers, these little triggers right here, they're much bigger than they were before. If you can see them, they're fat and uh, they're easy to push, but they're like I said, they're very fat. Um, mine's a little bit... It, rubs up against something, I don't know. But they vibrate, so if you're playing like NBA 2K and you dribble with your right hand, the right trigger's gonna go, you dribble with the left hand, that one's gonna vibrate. Um, the shoulder buttons are much bigger than they were before they make more clicky noises. You can actually see like two infrared lasers when you turn this thing on, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Just press the button. Yeah, you can see my fingers lighting up white. I don't know if you can see it. Right. Whatever, you don't need to see that. But uh, the button lights up white with the Xbox. And then there's no more start and select. It's actually the options button. This is kind of like start right here. And then this other one uh, is like a windowed button, so it brings the windows down and stuff. And then you got your X, B, A, Y, and the D-pad. The D-pad's much improved. It's still a good controller. It fits in your palms very nicely where you'd want it to go. It'll be good for scuff stuff because you just put the triggers right there. You know what I mean? It sucks. Uh, there is a charging port, but it still starts off with AA batteries. I have rechargeable batteries, so it's not a big deal for me, but they still want you to buy a rechargeable pack, so that stinks. If I can get this ever back on. And then at the bottom, uh, they have their little, like, oh, I don't know what you want to call that port, but that's where your headset will go. They need, like, an adapter. So my Astro A40s, they don't work with this. But uh, overall, it's a pretty solid controller. It feels good. Um, I haven't had a lot of problems with it. Call of Duty feels a little different, but it's still a pretty good controller. They definitely improved on some stuff. I wish they didn't um, change the joysticks as much. I like the other ones better. These ones just feel like too small for me. I don't know. But D-pad, buttons, triggers are good. You don't need the response triggers, like the, uh, the vibration. That's just dumb. Uh, but overall, pretty solid controller. You can't go wrong if you're using the Xbox One. And then this one, the DualShock 4. I actually have a... Uh, uh, Control Freak, that's another good thing. The Control Freak from the PS3 or whatever uh, will actually fit right on there. So that's pretty sweet. Um, it doesn't fit on the Xbox One. It fall, it goes right on and off, falls off. But PS4 controller, very, uh, it's almost about the same width. I think it's actually a little wider than the Xbox One. Uh, it's a little bit wider, I believe. Um, it's got this light, so when you turn it on, beep. Um, this blue light turns on. Actually, it's like whitish, and then it turns blue. Um, it's got the charging port back here, very easy to charge, just put the USB in there and it charges right there. Uh, the triggers are nice, uh, they're easy, it feels like it's exactly where like your pointer finger or your uh, back finger is supposed to go, they're not big like the Xbox 360 or the Xbox One, but uh, it's very nice and smooth, R1, L1, again, very sleek, easy buttons to press, I like it. The D-pad, still a really good D-pad, it, uh, you know, left, down, up, right, whatever you need to do, and uh, the joysticks. Uh, they're a lot better. I like the grip of them, and I think they're just a tad bit wider. Yeah, they're definitely a little bit wider uh, than the, three, six, or the Xbox One. I guess if you can see that, um, they're pretty close. It seems that uh, the PlayStation 4 is a little bit more on the outside. Maybe that's not as much grip, but I like the way they feel. Mine haven't broken down yet. Some people say they break down. I wouldn't know. And then you have your standard you know, square, X, triangle, circle buttons. They're pretty good. Um, the share button is nice. You can set it to where, like, if you just tap it real quick, it'll stay the screenshot. If you tap it twice, it'll start recording or record the previous 15 minutes. And then if you, uh, you know, hold it or whatnot, it'll come up and you can either do, um, you can upload your screenshot, upload your video, or you can start streaming from Twitch. That's awesome. I've done that a few times. And the options button, you know, options pop up. Then you can, like, delete something, select something, choose something, whatever. 
um, and then again the home button at the bottom both of the home buttons they basically do the same thing like you press the home button and then you go back down uh, you go out of the menu or out of the game back into the menu and the one thing the PlayStation has that the Xbox one doesn't is this little touchpad thing this is pretty much the select button for the PlayStation so like if you're in a game of Call of Duty and you want to pop the leaderboard up you just press that which is actually that's handy for Call of Duty for other games I don't know um, pops up but I like the feel of both of them but to be honest with you, I really like the way the PS4 feels. The the DualShock 4, this thing is awesome. Right now, uh, it's it's working well for me. I like the fact that I have a, uh, you know, the uh, Control Freak. I'm going to be getting some for the Xbox One at some point. Um, but I haven't played Call of Duty on a smaller monitor yet. I've been playing on a 42-inch TV. That's a that's a 32. So I'm going to bring my Xbox One up right now and start playing that while this video is loading and everything. And uh, you guys will get that. But uh, both good controllers. There's, there's not much of a flame war between it. It's pretty much personal preference, kind of like it was last generation, but I don't know. I feel like uh, Sony made a lot more improvements from the DualShock 3 to the DualShock 4 than the Xbox or Microsoft made from uh, the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One. Neither controller is a bad controller. They're both better than the Wii U's controller. Um, I just like the way the uh, PS4 joysticks feel in comparison to the, three, or the Xbox One. D-pads, it's pretty much a toss-up. I think uh, maybe I prefer the PS4 a little better, not too much. I think I actually prefer the Xbox One buttons, like the A, B, X, Y. Um, triggers, uh, they're about the same. There's nothing really different with them. I feel like I get a little more grip because the uh, Xbox One's a little glossy and the uh, PS4 is not. It's like uh, a little bit rough. The, the PS4 also has a different color scheme. It's like black on the front and then it's like this weird like gray. I think it's supposed to be a little grippy. It doesn't really help at all. The Xbox One's pretty much all the way around. There's a little bit of gloss up here. PlayStation 4, or the DualShock 4, does charge and has a little speaker. I haven't used the speaker. That thing's stupid. Why do I want that? That's also a dumb thing. So the PlayStation 4, or the DualShock 4, has a stupid speaker, and the Xbox One has rumble triggers. So they both have really stupid things built into them. But otherwise, good controllers. It's up to you. What uh, In the comments, let me know if you guys have a favorite controller, which one you like more. If you have an Xbox One, if you have a PS4, if you've used them. I've used both. I've played the uh, PS4 a little bit longer because it's been out a week longer, but uh, I've been playing some P uh, Xbox One to catch up. So, uh, like I said, leave your comments below if you have any questions about these or games or anything. Uh, let me know. Follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash fattern, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. The Wolf says peace out.